Hello everybody. Today we're going to do a retro shave. A retro shave because again I've been written around in some boxes and I found one of my very first razors. My very first razor that would have been something comparable to what we're using now in traditional wet shaving. I found this beauty. A Chic Hydro Magic, M Magic 500. This is, you've seen uh, Paul ben Benbino shave with his. It opens up, enables you to clean inside, and close it down. It's plated in gold, whereas most of, uh, of uh, this, the more modern, and these were made, I believe, in the, the 19, late 1950s, early 60s. They use Schick blades. That's the only things I've been able to find around, but as I remember, they were really good blades. About the time that I tried to, to start it and, and to use them, you, you insert the key into it. You pull this back. Let's see if I can get it so you can see and I can do it left-handed. You pull this back and slide the blade in and pull it out. And the blade is seated. Looks like it's seated okay. This is a beauty razor. I got that this razor in a yard sale for 25 cents in 1979 when I first moved to Oklahoma. That's whenever I and, and not too long after that that's when I bought this brush. This uh, is about a 25 year old Badger brush that uh, I bought at an Albertson's store in Bethany, Oklahoma. And about that same time, well, I know exactly at that same time, I bought this shave cream. Menin Lather Shave Menthol Ice. Still got a little bit left. I'm going to use that. But I'm also going to use something else. I'm going to shave half of my face today the old way, the way I shaved 25 years ago. I've got some Barbasol. Barbasol, menthol. Well, it's, no, it's not menthol. It's got soothing aloe in it. I've got this. You notice the top's off? because I got the magic little machine. I used one of these for quite a long time. You put the, put the shaving cream in there, you crank it up, you turn it on, the light turns red, and when the light is green, you got hot leather. You need to shake it up a little bit, so I shake it up. going to be, I'm going to put this lather on half of my face. I'm going to put the, the uh, Barbasol on half of my face. The, set, the face, the side that I do the Barbasol on, I'm going to shave as close as I remember the way I usually shaved. Now before I had this, I had a, a another, I can't remember if it was a, a track two type of injector or something, but just kind of go back through through history when I first started shaving I started shaving with something like this it wasn't exactly like this it was an old Norelco plug in the wall they were kind of short and stubby and in fact my father-in-law is still using that razor started using something like this 
because my uncle didn't do wet shaving anymore. And he was the one that kind of taught me how to shave. Went to Remington, did a fairly decent job, but the, the heads wore off real fast. Like this one right here, you can see, I don't know if you can see, but it's got a hole in the top of the, the guard. And then later on, went to these battery operating rated things. I use these off and on for years. But as far as shaving, you know, I used, I used this for a while. And then they started coming out and promoting the double edge. So I used something kind of like this. I don't know even what brand this one is. This is a Persona type thing. And then finally, I started using an Astra, I think is what it's called. Atra or something like that. I don't even have any blades for it anymore. It was that kind. You know, you push the button and it locked. And then the good old Gillette Fusion. That was, this was the last razor that I've been using. Before I, start, I started doing uh, tr traditional wet shaving again. So we've got a green light. I'm going to put some of the homemade coral skin food, rose scented, um, of the, uh, I don't even have it up there anymore, of the uh, corn huskers lotion that I've just added some rose. I'm going to put that on half of my face. And whenever I shaved, with the shick in the past didn't do any prep and a lot of times didn't even shower just kind of washed the face a little bit so really didn't didn't do anything really to prepare prepare for it didn't know what i was doing and that's why a lot of guys they go back and they try their own old style using the preparations that we do now and they get a fairly decent shape because a lot of the shave results is that preparation, getting the water to the, the face, getting that water absorbed into your skin, opening up your pores, getting the water in there so that the water cushions the shave. So this side, my dog scratched me up here a little bit and now it's, it's acting like it's gonna be nasty. So I'm going to kind of try to avoid that area, but I'm just basically all I did back in the day was just put some water on my face. Just put some water and that was it. So I'm going to lather up with some of this cream and some guys have, have asked, does it still work? Yeah, it does. And I've probably got enough for another maybe three or four shaves in there. But I just used a little dollop. And uh, it hasn't really lost its ability to work. It may be a little bit stiffer, a little bit drier than what I remember it. But, you know, sometimes I would just spread it on like this. Before I knew any better, before I knew what was going on, I'd spread it on like this and not use the brush I had it in my travel bag when I was going to college traveling back and forth a lot of weekends and then stuff like that then I wet the brush a little bit and this thing is very very floppy not much backbone to it at all Just like I say, it's pretty dry stuff. And this this brush does not have the best backbone in the world. So, truth be known, it was kind of hard to develop a lot of lathers as I was trying to experiment with this brush. 
But this was an inexpensive brush, like I've said in another video. I had to save up for it, and it cost $40, and I remember that clearly, because that was a good chunk of change in 1979. But I wanted to try the traditional way of shaving. A little bit more water. Even though I didn't know what in the world I was doing. And sadly, if I'd have known what I was doing, there were a lot of products back then that were probably pretty nice. Because I can remember this shave cream, this menin, was not the only choice I had. But I, I chose it because it was the menthol ice. I like that idea. And I can still feel the menthol. It's still pretty potent. Okay, shake this up a little bit more. And there comes the hot leather. We'll put that on this side of the face. And of course, didn't use a brush. Just kind of globbed it on. Now, I haven't used this razor in a long, long time. So it'll be interesting now that I know how to shave right. As I remember right, I started off and I would come up here and I would shave down and it would only do one pass so I'm just going to do one pass the old-fashioned way because that's all I ever did And then I remember, because one pass and because my beard down on my neck, it actually goes this way. It grows inwards. But I would always go up because that tended to knock down more than anything else. So it was really kind of a sort of an across the grain, against the grain type of thing. And then I would kind of go up and go back over where I went before. Not knowing any better, not knowing that with no prep, no pre anything that I was probably creating some irritation. But that's all I would do. I would do that all over my face and I would end. Never did any multiple passes at all, other than just maybe like that, going across that spot before. Well, let's go over here on this side and do the regular three pass way, and then we'll compare. And as I remember, I really liked the, the single blades, but the marketing of television and magazines and radio of the two blades it really was persuasive and of course I, I don't remember what year it was but I know a lot of us guys at different times I remember getting different razors at least two or three times in the mail free so let's rinse and let's see what we got here okay I've got a little weeper there this side is the normal it does pretty good up here and this side Uh, it's so-so it does it was all right up here it's about the same up here on my cheeks 
about the same. Down here, it could use some cleanup. And then, of course, down here, there's a lot of stubble left, as far as I can feel. But that was about as good as it got. And, you know, yeah, if you wanted to get a much closer shave, you could go over it trying to get rid of all of it, buff it, sort of. But I can remember a lot in when I tried to do wet shaving, I'd get all kinds of irritation down on my neck. All kinds. So, let's finish off the rest of the shave the, the real way. And I'm probably going to have to add some more soap here. But I'll give 25-year-old cream a, a little bit of slack as far as a little bit of water on it. And like I say, this I've pretty much retired this brush. The only reason I pulled it out is just for demonstration purposes. And I'm going to skip a little bit more. It definitely is getting getting tired after 25 years. 24, really, I guess. And really, and truly, from what I felt that first pass, I may just do a two passer but as you can see in working this leather it may take a little bit more which is not different than some creams that we got more product is needed to get a good leather but it's still working get the lather off of this. I'll just do a two-passer. Let's see. Cross the grain against the grain. Let's do against the grain. Against the grain for me is kind of up, cross up a little bit angle. Also, too, probably not knowing any better, I probably bore down pretty hard with this razor. Maybe not. I can't remember the exact progression. I may have had one of those double edge cartridge razors by the time I, I came to Oklahoma in 79. I don't remember exactly when they were introduced. Could look it up, but I'm not going to. Regardless of what razor I have, I have a hard time getting the right angle on my chin. And that's, I think, the reason why I get weepers a lot of times, is I just don't get it tilted the right direction to be optimal. 
I'll call that G. 